Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm David and this is West Highland Shop. This week on the bench, I'm finally getting around to taking care of my Charles Parker Vice. This is my first Parker. It's a model 953 and a half, so it's a three and a half inch jaw. Weighs about 36 pounds. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, I picked this up probably six, nine months ago. Um, I've been staring at it every day and I finally got time to get to it. So it opens, but it's a struggle to get it open. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna jump right into it and uh, start getting this thing restored. I mentioned a minute ago, uh, this is my first Parker, so I've never restored one of these, so I'm not 100% sure of the process, but that's a good start right there. So I'm not really sure how to get it completely apart. So we'll figure it out as we go. Looks like this needs to come out. There we go. So we got a screw with a lock washer on it that goes in there. Now I just noticed there's a there's a screw in here, and I'm not sure if that's to adjust this or what. Interesting, look how rusty this is and how clean that is. And it's got four thrust washers in it. Dirty, but in good shape. I think I'm going to start by just cleaning everything up with a wire wheel first and see how it looks. So I'm going to start with this piece. All right, that's after wire wheeling. Um, I started this one on the wire wheel a little bit too. These two pieces, the thrust washers and the retainer screw are definitely going to go in evaporust. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put this in evaporust as well. Well, initially, I was not going to paint this vise. At this point, I'm thinking a black paint. But I'm not gonna fix any of the 
the manufacturing defects, any of the casting marks. I'm not going to fix any of the dings and divots that have been put in it over time. Check this out. So it's missing the E, we should say the Charles Parker company. It's missing the E completely. This is a lead screw, uh, fresh out of Evaporus, so I've rinsed it off. And I noticed that the slide bar here was tight, and there's a screw here, and I think this is an adjustment screw. So if I loosen it, it gets real loose. I've never had one like this before, and I hope a spring doesn't pop out. Nope. Yes, that's really dirty. Yep. Wow, look at that. It's a spring, but it doesn't even look like a spring. It's so cake full of grease. So I'll get this cleaned up. Everything's done, it's clean, it's wiped down with alcohol and ready for paint. I mentioned earlier in the video the E is completely missing from the word the up here. So rather than trying to make an E or just painting the TH, I think I'll just not highlight those letters. These are not the cleanest castings. You know, some of it may be my paint, but some of it, these letters are just, you can see they're just not straight across here. It's pretty rough. Working on my second coat here, and I'm finding that if I just get a little bit of paint on the tip of the brush and just kind of dab it on there, this paint's thick enough that it doesn't run all over the place, and I think it's working out pretty good. But again, I just want to point out how off these castings are. It's pretty wild.
Time for reassembly. The first order of business is going to be to get the nut back in. So I'll get a little oil on this. I don't typically put grease on these vices, the ones that I'm not going to use on a regular basis, so the grease won't get hard. I usually just put some 3-in-1 oil, just to help it along. If I were to ever take this vice and want to actually make it a user every day, I'd probably take it apart, clean it and then put some oil on it. I mean some grease. Oh yeah, that slaps it real nice. Well, that's it for my Charles Parker 953 and a half. Really cool vice, man. I love this thing. Uh, it's a three and a half inch jaw, weighs about 36 pounds. It wasn't in terrible shape, but you can tell it's had some use. There's a lot of dings and dents. I left all those in on this one. Didn't do an overboard restoration, just cleaned it, gave it a coat of uh, flat black paint, and oiled all the moving parts. Uh, one of my favorite features of this vice is this set screw here that will lock this handle in place and keep it from sliding back and forth. If you like tool restoration videos, on my homepage I've got a playlist for tool restorations. I've got another vice video there and I've got more vices coming. Thanks for checking me out and following along. We'll see you on the next one.